Hello, everyone, and welcome to my How to Short series, Unleash, Unleash Your Trading Instinct. We, we are looking at Apple today. Uh, we also have a series on NVIDIA, so make sure you check those out. And uh, let's, there's a lot of exciting news I want to share with you. Uh, you know, things are going well. We really picked that top uh, on both NVIDIA and Apple. So uh, before we get started, let's dive into our guidelines on how we short so you can't just short at any point uh you want to short at all-time highs that's the strategy that we're using that's the framework uh we also want to find a pivot and pivots areas usually shape up intraday uh and we look at that so there's specific you know pattern sides and signals that we look at and then they develop over multiple time frames and that's how you're really able to pull you know these large moves quick large moves out of the market short selling so let's move on to the chart and let's really discuss what's been, you know, going on over the past few weeks, what has developed, you know, what we've been doing uh, so you can get some insight on that. So uh, here are some lines here. Let's just move it back. Let's just take them off. There we go. So just a quick recap. Um, you know, we actually tried to uh, short sell this multiple times and we failed. So we saw this break a uh, gap and crap uh, pie in the face and we got stopped out up here. Then it fell again, so we decided to short here, gapped up the next day, got stopped out, and then the day after, uh, it failed to close above 150, so we shorted it. This was a nice area where uh, we knew that if, if it would close above there, uh, you know, we were risking, I think, a dollar thirty. so I was fine with that. Um, I would have got out. Otherwise, I knew that this was, you know, we're coming into a top, it's peeking its head out, and this is good I, a good time to kind of, you know, figure out where that those uh, those tops are. Uh, so now and then we failed to you know make new highs and we're just you know we, we were making new lows and lower lows and then today we gapped down got smashed uh we retest this intraday breakdown candle here that's something that you'll see a lot that and that i talk about that's how i kind of you know identify some of these areas here of you know where i want to buy and where i want to sell but pretty much what we have you know on the dock here is a bearish flag pattern and we're looking for it so so you have your flagpole which is your gap down and then your sideways movement, and we're looking for a continuation to about 137, where we're gonna sell the remaining. And then we're gonna go into our gap trading strategy because we are, uh, there is actually a gap down here at 137 that hasn't been filled yet, so we'll be a buyer here. And so we're gonna take the profits, we're gonna reinvest it in a buy, and you know, we'll hopefully we can get a bounce of maybe, you know, one to, to 3% uh, or more. So depending on how things are shaping up and how we're following it. But um, yeah, just to see where we are with our profits, let's go to the spreadsheet. So here we are on the spreadsheet. Um, you can see that we unloaded half of our shares here at uh, 143.70. So uh, it, it gapped below in the morning pre-market. So we sold it pre-market. Um, some of you may or may not be able to do that. Uh, if you can, that's great. If you can't, that's fine because it actually, you know, kept going down on the open after the open. And right now, if we're uh, so that actually made a profit of $150. And then if we're if we would have sold the remaining of our shares at the end of the day, that's 187. But we're looking to milk this thing, right? So we have a gap down. We have something to, to trade against to say, hey, if we start closing candles into this gap, we're just going to exit. But we're really looking to, you know, make those profits and selling along the way as it's going down. Um, and that's the strategy. So a lot of these uh, mistakes or lessons that we are learning is in this gap and short selling fundamentals tab here, which I share uh, on my Patreon account. So if you're interested in improving your game uh, and learning how you can do that through self-analysis, accountability, transparency, honesty, all that good stuff, this is how you do it. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for following me here. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear what you're trading, what your thoughts are on Apple. You can just leave those comments below. Thank you for joining. See you next time.